Ladies and gentlemen, I am dedicating these next sentence to women out there and ew, ew, ew. That's all you ever hear. Ew, 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 ew. Thank you for inventing that word, ladies. Ew. Anyways, I went this past Saturday to a country concert. Kenny Chesney and, of course, Eric Church sang Springsteen. I grew up on the wrong side of the tracks, and all we did was listen to Springsteen. Springsteen. That was a very exciting concert. Literally, people literally passed away while they were listening to music. It was like... And the people who were tailgating were very nice, actually, very receptive to my music. God bless them. But it was kind of weird. They were picking that stuff out of their teeth, like, damn, we got to jump off of Smokey more often. Damn straight, man. I mean, I mean, no, no offense, but a lot of these people did come from probably trailer homes where they're... I've never seen more bottles broken in one place in my entire life. It looked like, I don't know what, like burned down the disco things in the late 70s. Man, there's bottles all over the place. Whiskey bottles, brand new cars. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, Springsteen, that was our church. And uh, Kenny Chesney was sort of like a Jimmy Buffett type of performer, doing sort of country flavor, pop, rock, or whatever you want to call it. And the women were really fine, man. It was fantastic. This one girl I was hanging out with looked like Demi Moore from 1989 with long hair. And this other girl was with her friends, and this blonde one was hot. It was just fantastic, man. It was really fun times. But uh, like I said, you got to be careful because, you know, somebody jumped up on over Smokey. That's our dog slash horse. You pick your crap out of your teeth without a toothpick. You can use your hands to get little pieces out. You don't need a toothpick or a tooth cleaner. Like I said, bottles, broken beer, bottle, bling, blah, 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 blah. blah. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Uh, what else did I want to say? What else was it? Dogs, part two. Dogs, part two. I can never forget some of the greatest dogs that really look exactly like humans. Like, look at English sheep dogs. They look exactly like one of the Beatles or one of the English rock bands or hard rock, even heavy metal guys. Sheep dogs, very English oriented, extremely. English basset hounds, very, the face, the very visual looks very similar, exactly like to most English people. Like, Oh, Watson, did you arrest a guy? I mean, basset hounds are English too, right? They look extremely English. And all those Scottish foxhounds and this and that. And then there's Japanese chins, which are very cute little dainty, doggy, doggy Japanese. They're very Asian oriented. I like Japanese chins. They're cute little things, aren't they? And then you have um, Pekingese. Is there a, and, uh, Afghan pinchers? Isn't that what they're called? Afghans. And Great Danes, of course, look extremely Danish. If you ever met anyone that's Dutch or Danish throughout your life, I'm sure you have. You know, people that own farms. Uh, Great Danes are extremely, they're like replicas. They look like exactly, like Greta Van Susteren. I, I believe she's Dutch, maybe she's German. But Great Danes, Dane, Danish, look very exactly similar. They're like they're looking in the mirror, very cute. So Great Danes and Danish people, God bless you. Keep up the good work. And uh, what else did I have to say? Besides you and Springsteen and the concert and the tailgate and the bottles and the babes and the dogs. and the, I know I'm going to think of other dogs right now. I can't think of any other ones. But peace, party on, and rock and roll. May the force be with you.